If you love Baltimore sports, you'll love WNST.net. So I'm here with Fred Flintstone tonight. It's my Halloween outfit. We're here at the Goodwill Charities for the Ravens Halloween party down in Arundel Mills, Jillian's. And the prime mover of this event is here in uh, Fred from Scooby-Doo. And uh, you have the whole you Scooby-Doo Fred club. and Fred. That's right. Oh, it is Fred and Fred. I didn't think about that. So for this event and, and being involved, this is one of the prime things you do every year. Uh, I know Shannon Sharp started it 10 years ago, kind of handed the baton to you. And you and your wife, family, you do it up every year. It's, it's been great. You know, we've raised a ton of money for Goodwill. And uh, every year we come out and have a great time. Everybody really gets into it. And we love it. You know, it's a lot of fun. Uh, Mark Clayton's here. He's having a good time. A lot of guys always show up. And, and we really raise a lot of money and do a lot of good with it. I mean, a little bit more with the kids. I mean, I, a couple years ago, you were watching Stover chase little guys. You got like three of them out on the bowling lanes right now. You got uh, Scooby, Velma, and uh, Shaggy. Well, uh, we've got the whole crew. The only thing we're missing, missing is the mystery machine. So uh, it, it's, it's a lot of fun. The kids, you know, it's the first time to come into this, so they, they're having a lot of fun. And, uh, you know, we just enjoy it every year. It's something I look forward to every year. Let's talk about some football here. Uh, bye week, I've talked to three or four different guys. A good time for a bye week or a bad time. I mean, obviously for the fans, we want to see you guys back out there on Sunday trying to win a football game. Uh, but you guys sitting through it with training camp and the bodies, but three game losing streaks, not the best feeling. No question. That's, I mean, I think everybody's itching to get it back out on the field and get a win. And so, you know, that's the biggest focus is you know, we've had a week to think about, you know, what we've been doing the last three weeks. So, uh, you know, everybody's kind of rejuvenated and refocused. And, you know, we're looking forward to getting out there on Sunday and playing a great game. The one thing that we haven't focused on so much, other than the few injuries, Brandon and some other guys, pretty healthy team this time of the year. It hasn't always been that way. No, it's been great. You know, a lot of guys are staying healthy, and you know, we've we've really been playing some pretty good football. Other, you know, other than a few plays here and there, but uh, obviously there's a lot we can improve on, and uh, that's our main focus this week, especially, is, is figuring out exactly what we need to do to get a win. How much different has it been being in the offensive meeting rooms? Uh, year, year and a half for Flacco here where you're making big strides offensively. You're getting things done. You're, you're actually accomplishing on Sunday things you're practicing during the week. Has it been a different transformation for you being on more of an offensive club? Well, I would say it's it's a lot easier to game plan things, especially when you go out on the field and it's working. You know, those things that you go in and put in during the week, the things that you scheme up, you go out on the field and it translates. So that's the biggest thing where, you know, we have a lot of fun when we go practice something all week long and we work on it so hard and then have it show up on the field. It makes it a lot of fun for the offense. The hair's a little George Washington. Well, honestly, when I get up on you, I'm a little, it's disturbing to see you in this outfit. Yeah, the wig was not exactly what I was going for. Um, you know, but it was, Who comes up it with was this? my daughter's idea. Your daughter's year, idea, so all right. I wasn't going to turn her down. You know, she, she, she brought her wig. My wife put her wig on. We even had little Shaggy put his wig on. So, uh, yeah, not looking my best, but that's all right. It's always interesting to see what he's going to come up with. We're here at the Ravens Halloween Party for Goodwill Industries and Goodwill Charities. Todd Heap, better known as Fred. And I'm Fred, signing off. If you love Baltimore sports, You'll love WNST.net.